Hey guys, even if you're an experienced Django developer or a beginner, you might wonder how small you can make a Django project and still make it run. Stick around to see how you can make a Django project with only one file and 13 lines of code, and this includes line breaks. Typically, when you create a new Django project, you get files like settings.py, urls.py, wsgi.py, and similar. These files help you make the project with best practices and similar. But for testing purposes, I want to create the most minimal Django project possible. I've already installed Django, so the first task now is to create a new file called small.py. We need to set three constants and add an empty URL patterns list. So first, debug equals true, and then a secret key equals this must be secure. You don't have to have this, you can run the project without it, but then you will get a warning in the console. And then root URL conf equals underscore underscore name underscore underscore, which is the file we are in. And then the empty URL patterns list. So let's try to run this project now. Django dash admin run server dash dash python path equals dot, which is the folder we are in where the small.py is also located. Dash dash settings equals small, which is the file. Okay, at least we now see the default welcome page, so the project is running. Let's make it possible to add a view and render some HTML. First, you need to import a few things from Django. From django.http import http response, and from django.urls import path. We can keep the three constants, but we need to add a new view. Def index, and we pass in the request. Return http response, and then a paragraph. A really simple Django project. And then to access this in the browser, we need to add a new path to the URL patterns. Path, and then empty, and then we just pass in index, which is the view we just created. So if we run this now, we will see a paragraph we just added. So there we have it, a Django project with only one file and 13 lines of code. If you want, we can make it a little bit more sophisticated, and make it possible to run the server a little bit easier. First, you need to import a few new things. Import sys, so we can use the arguments from the command line. And from django.conf, import settings. And from django.core.management, import execute from command line. So now we can use commands in the command line to talk to Django. We also need to convert the constants to a tuple and use, a, use this a little bit different. Settings.configure. And then we add the parentheses at the beginning and the end. The index view and the URL patterns can just be like it is. But we need to change a little bit more at the bottom. We need to add if name equals main, which means that we run this from the command line. Then in here is the execute from command line and we pass in the arguments from the console. So now we can run this by saying python small.py run server. So if you go back to the browser now and refresh, it should be like it was before. But even though this project would never be used in real life, it's interesting to test out. If you want to learn more about Django, check out my premium courses on codewithstand.com or my free tutorials here on YouTube. See you in the next video.